look very familiar here, going out uh, into the darkness. And it is freezing. Like, we think it's actually colder than it was in Sea and Reef this time last year, and we were freezing then. Yet again in another tuk tuk. 
best way to travel. Absolutely the best way to travel. Roads are a little bit bumpier here in Myanmar. But you get to um, you get to get all the smells. Some not most pleasant, but you get all the smells. You get the nice breeze, and you can actually look around. You know, you're not restricted as you are in a car. We're immersed in the atmosphere. It's got a strong smell of urine. <laughs> so we just had our um, first experience with the whole making kissing sounds to attract the attention. Really I actually joked to Greg saying, oh, get the waiter's attention by making that noise. And Greg made the noise and instantly the waiter was at our table. <laughs> so it works. And I didn't really think I did that loud either. So it gets above the throne. And he was there in an instant and we paid and left. <laughs> it's very useful for me to start doing it in this way. Well, we've just been shown to our room and uh, this is the tragic view that we have out on uh, overlooking one of the pools. Let's have a look at our palatial suite. Well, not a suite, it's just a room. Yeah, this is just a room because we actually purposefully didn't get an expensive room because the plan is that we're going to be spending all our time at the amenities and not here. But uh, it's pretty awesome. And I'll have to stay awake all night so we can enjoy the room as well. Well, there's no sleep tonight. We're going to be up all night because we're going to be in the bath, in the pool, watching TV, getting massages, getting drinks, because this is pretty bloody good. the lake from the Orion Palace Infinity Pool. So we decided we'll check them out.
Here we are, we've woke up this morning to the balloons firing up, which we could have actually walked to, we didn't realise that. Instead of waiting to get picked up. And that's directly outside our bedroom window. Through the peanut field, Greg's just got attacked by an acacia tree. Very thorny. Very thorny. It grabbed hold of him. I tried to grab it to pull it off and then I realised how thorny it was. There's Zuzu up there, He's taking us to these temples. And the beautiful pulsar, there she is. quite hard walking because it's really soft sand. It's like walking at the beach. Or at the desert. <laughs> yeah, if someone just dropped me here, I'd sort of be thinking I'm in Africa somewhere actually. It does feel African. Here we are, getting our Indiana Jones get on. Intricate carving works. There's a little nook there where once a Buddha would have sat there in his own little pagoda type thing. And then right up the top, once again, there's little niches up there where little Buddhas would have been. The roof has been repaired, so that's new. And they've done a very good job. Um, we're going into this little hole here in this temple. Greg said I have to video. <laughs> so this should be fun. Oh. Zuzu's leading the way. Oi. Oh wow, it's like bush up here. So what's, Zuzu, what's this area called? We need to. We need to. And how many temples are here? Around this area, over 12 monuments. 12. 12. Wow. It's so beautiful. 